Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to see how can we find out the hybridization of atoms in organic compound using a very simple trick and you can solve very quickly find out the hybridization of any atom in any organic compound. So there is this formula that you can use. Hybridization is equal to number of sigma bonds plus lone pairs that is not involved in resonance. So let us first understand how do we count the number of sigma bonds. So whenever a carbon-carbon single bond is formed, this bond is called as a sigma. This is the symbol for sigma bond. And whenever a carbon-carbon double bond is formed, first bond that is formed, that is the sigma bond. And the second bond that is formed, that is formed by a lateral overlap of p orbitals that we had already seen while studying ethene okay while studying ez nomenclature and also in geometrical isomerism so this lateral overlap leads to the formation of pi bond so we don't have to count the pi bond we have to count only the sigma bond so in carbon carbon single bond there is how many sigma bond one carbon carbon double bond there are how many sigma bond one in carbon carbon triple bond that we see in which functional group alkyne the first bond form that is a sigma bond and the remaining two bonds that are formed that are the two pi bonds that are formed okay so in carbon carbon triple bond also there are how many sigma bond one okay so now let us uh, understand with the help of this example this is which compound this is acid amide two carbon amide functional group that is why this is called as acid amide it is the common name and if i want to write down the iupac name it will be ethane amide ethane means two carbon ethane amide so here if i let's say i want to find out the hybridization of this carbon atom so there is one sigma two sigma three and four sigma bonds now if the number comes out to be two that is steric number is two hybridization will be sp if it is 3 then it is going to be sp2 and if it is 4 it is going to be sp3 so sp what is going to be the geometry geometry is going to be linear for sp2 it is going to be trigonal planar and for 4 that is sp3 the geometry is going to be tetrahedral okay so for this carbon what is the steric number there are four sigma bonds plus zero lone pair so it is going to be sp3 hybridization four means sp3 hybridization now let us see for this carbon there is one sigma two sigma and three sigma bond this is pi bond that we don't have to count so this carbon is how many hybridization one two and three three means sp2 now let us see for this oxygen what is going to be the hybridization there is one sigma bond and two lone pair 1 plus 2 is 3. So, hybridization of oxygen is going to be sp2. Now, let us see for this nitrogen. There is one lone pair, sigma and sigma. Now, can we count this lone pair? That we have to check. Now, if you see here, this lone pair, it is going to be involved in resonance with the carbonyl group. C double bond O carbonyl group. So what we will get is, okay, this double bond will become single bond. Here there will be O minus and here this lone pair will become a double bond. And now if I count for nitrogen, there will be how many sigma bonds? You can see there is one sigma, two sigma and there is going to be one more sigma. And we are not going to count this pi bond that is why i said lone pairs that are not involved in resonance should be counted because the lone pair that is involved in resonance that forms a pi bond that we don't have to count so one sigma two sigma three sigma so three three means sp2 hybridization okay i hope this is clear till now now let us understand with the help of other examples now here also first is the very basic structure that is methane for this carbon there are how many sigma bond 1 2 3 and 4 so this is which hybridization sp3 1 sn 3p orbitals 
sp3 hybridization for this carbon there is one sigma two sigma three sigma so this is going to be sp2 hybridization this is a pi bond that we don't have to count similarly this carbon is also having three sigma bond so sp2 hybridization in case of ethene two carbon alkene or compound having double bond is ending with ene so two carbon alkene is called as ethene similarly here in ethyne if we see this is sigma pi and pi so there is only one sigma bond here and one sigma bond here so two so steric number is two so this is sp hybridization similarly this carbon is also going to be sp hybridization we saw just now this is going to be sp3 this is also going to be sp3 because there are four sigma on both the four sigma bonds formed by both the carbon atoms if we see this carbonyl carbon one sigma two sigma and three sigma this is pi that we don't have to count so this is sp2 hybridization this oxygen also is going to be sp2 hybridization two lone pair plus one bond pair or sigma bond <coughs> so oxygen is also sp2 hybridization this was which functional group this is ketone now let us see another functional group this is roh roh is which functional group this is alcohol here if we see this carbon again it is forming how many sigma bond 1 2 3 and 4 so this is sp3 hybridization oxygen if we see here both the lone pairs are not involved in resonance so we will count both of them so 2 lone pair plus 2 sigma bond so this oxygen is also sp3 hybridization 2 plus 2 is 4 Okay, now let us see some more examples this is which functional group this is amine this is a primary amine rnh2 here also this is going to be sp3 nitrogen lone pair is not involved in resonance so we will count one lone pair and two bond pairs and there is going to be one more hydrogen so there are one two three and three sigma bond plus one lone pair so three plus one is four so nitrogen in amine is what it is sp3 hybridized now this is which structure this is benzene in benzene we can see for one carbon and for rest of the carbons it is going to be same so there is one sigma two sigma three sigma and one pi bond pi bond we don't have to count this is going to be sp2 hybridized and we know in benzene all the carbons are what they are sp2 hybridized Now let us see this one. This is which functional group? R C triple bond N. This is cyanide. Or if we consider only triple bond N, then that is this it is, it is also called as nitrile. Cyanide or nitrile. So here this is going to be sp3. For this carbon, if we see there is one sigma, two sigma. These two are pi bonds. So one sigma and two sigma. So it is going to be sp. If I see for this nitrogen, there is one lone pair that is not involved in resonance plus one sigma bond. So this nitrogen is also sp hybridized. Now this is which functional group? This is alene. We have already seen while studying alene or stereochemistry of alene or cumulenes. Terminal carbons, if we see, they have one sigma, two sigma and three sigma bonds. So it is sp2 hybridized. This carbon is also 1 sigma, 2 sigma and 3 sigma. These are pi bonds. So 3 sigma bonds. So it is going to be sp2 hybridization. If we see this central carbon, it is forming how many sigma bond? 1 and 2 sigma bond. That is why this central carbon is sp hybridization. We had also seen with the, in detail how this structure is formed and why this carbon is sp hybridization. And let us see the last one. This is which functional group? Okay, R2, C, double bond, C, double bond, O. This is called as ketene functional group. Okay, similarly here also, this carbon is forming how many sigma bond? Three sigma bond. So this is going to be sp2 hybridization. Oxygen, two lone pair plus one sigma bond. So this is also sp2 hybridization. And this carbon, central carbon, just like alene, 
it is forming two sigma bonds so it is going to be sp hybridization so i have tried to cover all all the functional groups almost all the functional groups and i hope you have understood how can we find out the hybridization in organic compounds thank you